Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see you here and today I have a super exciting video for all of you living in Germany, specifically in Bavaria. Because I am going to talk to you about Tracht, more specifically about a dindel, what I'm wearing right now, which is a traditional outfit worn by women in Bavaria. I'm gonna be here as the ultimate guide. I'm gonna show you a few different styles that I have, explain to you what, how and when to wear it. Yeah, just give you general guidelines because for me as a foreigner, when I moved to Bavaria, it was definitely, you know, a struggle and something that I had to learn because there is much more into it than you might think. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe down below. Don't forget to support me. Every like, every comment, and especially every subscription helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions, then don't hesitate to comment down below. I will be very happy to answer all of them to the best of my knowledge. Okay, okay. <laughs> But yes, now let's go and get started. So as I mentioned in the introduction, a dindel is a traditional outfit worn by women in Bavaria and it actually has reasserted a few years ago. It was not so popular to wear a tracht or the traditional outfits before, but somehow now it is back in trend and people are wearing it more and more. And contrary to what a lot of foreigners think, it's not only an outfit to wear on Oktoberfest. <laughs> in Bavaria who are traditional wear to a lot of different occasions especially now during you know late spring early summer time there are a lot of local festivals a lot of local uh, mini Oktoberfest so to say every city has one I'm sure where you live has one as well and this is a great occasion to wear them of course people also wear it in the winter time they have as well winter festivals more traditional people wear it for weddings for for any family celebrations for Christmas as well I personally find wearing a dindle in the summer way easier because it's mostly you know a bit more open a bit more cropped and I love wearing them in the summer so much so that I have accumulated three different dindles, which I will show to you later in the video. But yeah, what I wanted to say with this is that it's not only Oktoberfest appropriate because uh, some people might think that buying one is not worth it. Personally, I think it is worth it uh, because you get to wear it quite a lot. They are pricey, but my best tip would be to go in the winter or spring shopping because that's the time when there are the least amount of fests and uh, a lot of shops make a lot of discounts. I personally got all of my dindles with 50% off. Amazon throw me a discount. The worst time to go shopping for it is right before or during Oktoberfest. Obviously, there's a lot of tourists, you know, people want to buy this outfit, they want to fit in, and the shops make their prices really, really high. Moving on, there are so many different styles of dindle and there is not really a right or wrong way to wear it. There are some that are shorter, there are some that are longer, so you really have to try on a variety and see what you like for yourself. When I went to shop for my first ever dindle, I think I tried on like over 20 dresses in all different colors, in all different lengths, in all different styles. And uh, that is definitely my recommendation as well. Don't be shy to try it on. You know, most of the people working in the shops are there to help you. And especially if you don't have a local guide to kind of help you to choose what you think fits best, uh, don't be shy to ask the women working there uh, because they can really give you a good good recommendation and good tips. Get on that, highly recommend. Another thing to consider is that the dindle is not only the dress, it is also the top underneath and just as for the dresses there are tons and tons and tons of different types of tops. You can have short sleeve, long sleeve, you can have deeper cut, high cut and it really depends on what kind of dindle you have. Uh, to see what kind of shirt fits with it. Most of the time they are white color, but uh, they don't have to be. You can also get a black one. Uh, there are also some modern ones that are colorful ones, burgundy, I don't know, red. Uh, but yeah, I think the most traditional way, way is a white top and then you can fit it with any other dindle that you have in case you have more than one. The next thing to consider is that a dindle comes with an apron. Where you tie the rope has a very specific meaning and it is very important because people actually look at it, especially it is a sign for men. 
uh, to when they check out the women's uh, apron they can see if she is taken if she's single so if you tie the ribbon on your right it means that you are taken if you tie it to the left it means that you are single you are ready to mingle so to say if you tie the tie in the middle it means you are a virgin but most of the time it is actually used more for children so I do not recommend tying it um, in the middle if you are an adult and if the tie is uh, in the back it means that you are a widow. Accessorizing a dindle is also very very exciting as you can see here I have a quite traditional pearl necklace um, that fits very nicely with the one that I'm wearing currently and you can pair it with a simple pair of earrings. With the makeup as well I normally try to go very very minimal with the makeup um, maximum I do is wear a little lipstick to give me a little bit of color but um, Dindle style is not really very, you know, extravaganza over the top. And the same goes with the hair. It's very, very traditional to wear hair uh, in some kind of a braided hairstyle. I have a French braid right now. And now let's get on to the try on portion. I'll show you the three dindles that I have. I'll tell you a little bit more um, about them and kind of how they are perceived. What do I wear them for? Let's, let's go to that. All right, let's start with the first one. And this is the one that I was wearing throughout the whole video. This one is very, very festive. And I would say this is the most traditional dindle that I have. I have the short sleeved shirt underneath. Yes, it is quite plunging. Uh, it is quite typical to have it lacy. And underneath you can either wear no bra or a push up bra. Dindle is very well known to be kind of uh, accentuating in the bust area. It is quite typical that the dindle part is colorful or with some kind of a motive and then the apron part is one colored so if you look from the front it's not too colorful. This is the part where I was saying that you can tie up more tight or less tight depending on how you prefer to have your dindle. And why I love this apron so much is because it has some glittery details and uh, this is definitely a dindle that I wear on more fancy occasions. I wouldn't recommend wearing something like this to a fest, especially Oktoberfest, because um, you will probably lose a lot of these like glitter or pearl parts and it's a pity if someone you know spills the beer on you and Oktoberfest is not actually that fancy you should wear like the most simple dindle that you have and I will show to you which ones I would rather wear. By the way, an important note is that a dindle is supposed to be tight. When I first tried them on, I thought that maybe I'm wearing a size too small that I should size up because they are very snug in the upper body, in the waist. Uh, but um, everyone told me very quickly that that's not the case. It has to be tight. You know, it's not very comfortable, especially if you have eaten or had a few drinks. It gets tighter and tighter. And uh, yeah, that's just the destiny of women in Bavaria. You kind of have to struggle with it and there's not much you can do. Let's move on to my second dindle that I bought actually last year. And this one is more summery, it's more festy. Um, so let me show that to you. All right, so we are moving on to a dindle number two. And as you can see, this one is very, very different. And this one is definitely much more summery. And this is a type of dindle that I would wear to all these types of fests, to summer celebrations, but the material is slightly lighter. In this one I actually am not wearing a white shirt underneath because this one is kind of a combi of shirt and dress in all in one. So you can see how much of a variety a dinner like this has. And I personally love this one a lot. You have these buttons that still accentuate your bust and uh, the waist. Personally, I said, always said that I would never have a pink dindle, but once I tried this on, I fell in love with it. Uh, I'm on the lookout for an apron that is a little bit more darker, like this burgundy or like wine red color, so that I'm not so overly pink. And that is actually a great tip for you. If you only want to have one dindle, you can still, you know, buy one that is more neutral color. So maybe blue or, or even black or beige or whatever. There are so many colors but you can still change the aprons and then it may still look like you're wearing you know different uh, colors different styles for different occasions but uh, without breaking the bank and you can definitely buy this apron separately in a dindle shop 
And now let me show you my last one. Actually, it is my first dindle that I got for 10 euros on eBay. So if you are new to Bavaria or if you're only a tourist, that is also an option. Check for secondhand um, options. I think they are also wonderful. And here is my dindle number three. For some reason, I tend to gravitate towards blue. I just think that it fits my complexion. I love color blue, but... And like I said, like I mentioned, I really bought this on eBay without ever seeing it for 10 euros. So it was a risk, but I was going to a last minute event and I knew that everyone was going to wear a tracht and I didn't want to be any different. So this is the one I got. And I think this has been the one of the best purchases because it was now over three years ago and I still wear it once in a while. It is definitely much more casual. This one is also more like a cotton material and it's more simple. I just put on my long sleeve uh, shirt underneath to show you how this looks like as well. The one I have here is more of a higher cut and it is lace as well. This is very very typical for this undershirt and they all are cut off straight, uh, very short, like right under the breast. This was a dindle, for example, that I wore when I was waitressing. When I worked in a Bavarian restaurant, we had to wear our own dindle. And obviously I didn't want to ruin any other one, so I wore this one a lot and it still, you know, kept up with all the wear and tear. I love the side details here as well. It is very nice embroidery, very, very beautiful. And again, you can tighten it up tighter or looser depending on you know how you feel how you want to be but uh, yeah these were all of the three dindles that I have let's move on to the final part of the video so we have reached the end of the video I hope you enjoyed my explanation I think I grasped the most important parts but again if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below let me know also which dindle do you like the most from the try on portion and if this video gets enough likes and if you want a part two where I explain the men's part of Tracht or Lederhosen, then of course let me know down below and give me a thumbs up so I know that you are interested. But uh, yeah, otherwise thank you so so much for watching and I will see you again next week.